to Education Matters, Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Magoha has warned school heads against sending learners back home over fee arrears. Magoha, who visited a number of schools in Kisumu and Bungoma counties, affirmed government's commitment in supporting learning, saying that already 4 billion shillings have been released to the public schools. Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Magoha was in the Western and Nyanza regions to inspect the state of affairs in schools with regards to the implementation of the COVID-19 safety protocols and learners' turnout. It was while at Bungoma DEB Primary School in Bungoma Town that the Education CS reiterated the need for all learners to report back to school, including those who got pregnant when schools were closed owing to the COVID-19 pandemic. The CS warning school heads are again sending learners back home over fear rares. No one to hear that any child has been sent home for any form of money, because even for the international children, the government pays for all children, both in public and private schools. The long school break left many schools financially crippled, with some still struggling to stay afloat. Magoha has, however, affirmed that the government has already released 4 billion shillings to public schools across the country for upkeep. For primary school, we have just released Kenya shillings, 4 billion plus. It is in your account. So what did you do? Even if you are going to be short, you can't be short now. The same gospel was being spread in Kisi County, where it emerged that 123 learners from a single primary school in Kisi Central Subcounty were unaccounted for after education institutions reopened. A multi agency team on inspection of schools reopening, led by the Ministry of Health Permanent Secretary Susan Muchache, directed Area County Commissioner and Grassroot Administration to mount a search for the children. In this particular school, about 123 children did not report. And uh, so the county commissioner, together with his team, will be going out to find out what happened to those children, so that in line with His Excellency, the president's uh, directive, all the children come back to school. For Channel 1 News, I'm Safin Aching Oma.